There's an old trader's adage, sell in May and go away. Let's bring in Dan Deming for the trader rundown. Dan, what do you think here? Are traders and investors likely to go away until October with the current market conditions? It looks like maybe some started last week, Angie. I don't know, but it's hard to say. You know, there's so many other moving parts this time around. So this is a very unique time period for not only our economy, us as human beings, but the markets in general. So, you know, I think there's going to be some volatility. The markets are contending with one of the, you know, a rally in April that's unprecedented and certainly probably got a little overextended. And then you got to incorporate, I think, the trade situation and some of the numbers that are going to be rolling out this week as we are going into the first full week in May that there's going to be some areas where you're going to see some readjustments. And I think possibly the energy sector is one of them where that certainly had a huge run out in April that might get reset a little bit. And also the tech sector, now that we're getting through earnings, you might see some reassessment there as far as valuations. Dan, what's key this week? What will you be watching? I mean, it's going to be, you know, basically the economic activities from a state level, uh, the tr trade situation now that that's back on the board. Uh, you know, the digestion of the earnings that we got last week, because really those were the big ones, uh, and also the data points, particularly the unemployment report. Thank you as always, Dan. Oh, you're welcome, Angie. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.